Hi, in this video tutorial, I'll show you how to download and install Visual Studio 2015 on Windows 10. In Google search engine, search for Visual Studio. Navigate to visualstudio.com. Click on Downloads. Scroll down. I'll download Visual Studio 2015 because currently this is the stable version. There is a newer version for Visual Studio 2017, but it's release candidate. It may or may not have bugs. So for this time, I'll download Visual Studio 2015. Click on Visual Studio 2015. You will see different editions, community, enterprise, professional. I'll download Community Edition because it's free for individuals. Select ISO option and click on Download. The size of the file to be downloaded about 7 GB. So I'll skip this process till the download finishes. Once the download finished, right click on the ISO file and select Mount. This will create a virtual installer disk for the Visual Studio. Open the disk, run Visual Studio Community.exe, choose your installation location, it's up to you. You can customize the type of installation to include or exclude features. I'll leave the default option. Click on Install. The installation process of Visual Studio is going to take some time, so I'll speed up the process. Visual Studio 2015 Community Edition has been installed successfully. Click on Launch. If you have Microsoft account, click on Sign In and provide your Microsoft account credentials. If you don't have an account, you can create new one for free. Or simply use Visual Studio without Microsoft account by clicking on Not Now, Maybe Later. Customize your Visual Studio. It's up to you. For me, I'll set development settings to General. And I'll select Blue Color Theme. Click on Start Visual Studio. The preparation process of Visual Studio is going to take some time, so be patient. This is how to download and install Visual Studio on Windows 10. To create a shortcut icon for Visual Studio on desktop, click on Start menu and search for apps starting with V letter. Drag Visual Studio 2015 and drop it on desktop. That's all for this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.